Why are anvils so loud? <laughs> hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cargo Port. We're looking really, really good. I've just done the wall, just finishing off uh, the wall that goes around the outside of the map here. There we go. And I've got the... <laughs> I've got the sides now going down at least into the water and I also Have removed the land that was on this side. Well brought it down to so the water goes over the top I might go down a little bit more. There's not really much need to I think it looks it's, it's looking so good I mean look on the map there. Oh by the way now that I since I've done the uh, cargo uh, since they done the cruise ship a, a couple of episodes ago Took all that problems away. Uh, the map is now loading properly over here as well. So we can get a really good solid view of this. Look at that. I don't know why. There's something really artistic that I really like uh, looking down on top of something. Any top down game I really really like. I made the wall go all the way around here. I know uh, like we're using these anvils to tie ropes to for the boats. Uh, and I know like a boat can't exactly get over here, but it's just nice to sort of continue the wall round or all, all the way round here And I've even got it going down there as well. I think it looks really nice uh, Today, I think we should start off with the uh, fuel station here <laughs> Make it not wood uh, and make it into an actual sort of fuel station color. I want a color that we don't have though I've got hiccups that we don't have, um, like, so I don't want to make it out of wool. I was thinking some sort of clay, but maybe like a pink or maybe even this light blue, I think works really well. The fuel station that we've done in the city is orange, but I don't want it to be the same uh, the same company uh, that does the fuel over here. I sort of want this to be its own sort of private firm, if you like. And I think potentially making the building itself out of brick could work. Probably could. Brick and quartz. If we grab stairs, full blocks, and slabs. I don't know if we're going to need those, but we can definitely have like those there. I think the quartz, quartz and brick goes well together anyway. But I think like where windows are and stuff like that, um, you know, where the glass is going to be. If we put quartz there, and then like glass, uh, I might use stained glass. Get rid of that mail mailbox from last episode. Like that. Uh, three. Three blocks, I think. Like that. I think that looks pretty good, right? We'll do what we always do and just work on the front at first. Get the sort of patterns in, the colours correct and stuff like that. And then we can complete the pattern around the outside. I think it works really well. It's got... It's got a, almost like a house feel to it. Um, I think we can get rid of that sort of house feeling by not having many windows. We definitely don't need many windows in uh, around the place. Uh, and obviously without without too many windows, we should get rid of this whole, uh, this whole house feeling that it sort of has at the moment. Like that. And, oops. And like that. See, having a couple of windows in there, I think, works really well. Like, having one over here, I think, would make sense. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then put these on here. Oh, no. I tried to do it in a way that I wouldn't get it wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, something like that. Uh, we can leave all that wall blank. We don't need anything on there. And then I was thinking... Something like this. Oh yeah, no, that's working. Uh, might even put this two blocks uh, high as well. And we might put some sort of clay, um, uh, some sort of uh, grey, not clay, some sort of grey slab uh, above and below it to give it a little bit of, um, of a sort of shape. One block or two blocks? I think two's too high. Uh, slab. We'll get some sort of grey one. I think a nice smooth-ish grey one. Above and below it. But then we'll leave a gap. Do I want to leave a gap where a window is? Or do we just go straight across? I think we go straight across. <clears throat> so I'll have this underneath it. Fuel pump in the way. Uh huh. This is a really cool location. 
uh, on the map. I've had another idea as well for a, a series that might follow this series when when we finish it. We're, we're a little bit away from completing this, but, you know, we need to think about the future series. And uh, I, I was thinking, in a similar style, still on the city world, uh, but a project that's probably too big to fit into... Uh, the city series itself. I know we're building a cathedral uh, on the city, and that's a big project, but I'm sort of splitting that up and doing it here and there, similar to how we done the airport. Uh, and, like, every now and again, we'll sort of come over and we'll do a little bit more on the cathedral. Um, but uh, I was thinking that potentially uh, Space Station would be a good one. Would you guys think a Space Station would be a good one? Uh, you know, on the back of the map, the very the, the north of the map uh, in the middle we've got an airport and then on the right hand side we've got the snow uh, snow peaked mountain with like the ski slopes and the uh, chairlift uh, and the hunting cabin on the left side potentially somewhere there I was thinking about having the space station that would be cool like with a rocket and everything like that actually in the city that would be really really cool okay uh, on top of this we want some uh, iron blocks might work for this i want some big sort of units like this we'll have a oops a lower one here and then over this side we'll just have some sort of ones like this Like that uh, rails a real nice touch haven't used uh, carpets at all uh, not carpets uh, curtains uh, at all on here yet curtains uh, we added with them or came with the molasses storm mods I had a look at them they're, they're really cool uh, but I think um, we can incorporate them in maybe an, a non-generic way uh, like in a way that you wouldn't really expect I think this would be better up to there don't you? I think so. I think so. Uh, oh, yellow. I don't want anyone parking in this zone. So we're going to disallow that. Fills up the space as well. Otherwise, it's just wasted sort of grey stone space. I think that looks a lot better, don't you? Yeah. It's a really nice building. I think the building suits the area as well. It's just sort of on the edge. And I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to have more buildings of this style. This sort of brick and maybe that same clay style building around this area. And sort of build this up to be uh, more of an industrial estate. Maybe sort of down there. I might change the beach a little bit to get more grass. And make this a little bit more of an industrial estate. I think that would be cool. Uh, and it sort of continues on that sort of building design uh throughout it i think that, i think that would be pretty cool uh here i want to have buildings with a similar building style to this one this one here and that one over there i want to have very similar features similar color or same colors uh similar block features things like that so if we take this out and put this here and we take it out on this side. And we replace that with that. Take this out. Put it back here. I'm not worrying about a door or anything like that at the minute. I can have a door where I want. I can have a door on this side if I want to do it. We'll have this in the ground. Ties that in really nicely then. And then, uh, Clay, I might as well grab it. Go over here and just grab it, mine. Eh? Like that. Uh, just a, just somewhat of a similar feel is all I want. Almost almost like a miniature version of the building. Like that. And I think I'll go another one up as well. This needs to come up to however high the building's going to be. I'll, I'll go up to about there for the moment. And the slab. Do I have it on the top? I think I have it on the top level. So along here. That's looking pretty nice. Uh, and then we want windows uh, above here. So we have the clay again. And then 
I could do it like another layer or I could just start the the red and stuff. Do I want red on it? No, I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave the red just in the middle. Okay, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. So if I had that there. One, two, three. One, two, three. That works out. Look at that. Hey. One, two, three. Two red ones. One, two, three. And then the clay. Okay, I think we've got like a, a really nice sort of miniature version. You see what I mean by sort of using the same style, the same sort of patterns? I think it's going to work really, really well. These are very thick windows. Uh, it makes doing the, it's going to make the interior uh, very, very difficult. Um, but I'm not really too bothered. Uh, we'll, we'll, it's a problem that we'll sort of figure out when we get there. Okay. Uh, do the same thing on this side. Just a, it, it's more of like a thin shed, like a thin building. I don't think we can really fit much of an interior in here because we're only going to have one block of space after we put the glass in. Um, but it's just there for decoration. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Red. Oops. And then the glass. Yeah, just more of a decoration building. I do want a door though, because that just makes <laughs> sense. Uh, slab is on the top half of the block. Obviously, we don't have the black in the bottom. Um, we don't quite have the room uh, for that. And this side is looking a little bit dull. Mind you, we haven't really got a roof on yet. I think we'll do... Okay, I've sort of done a little bit of a... Not a mistake, but a little bit of difference. So we'll hang this over the side here and over the side here. And then I want to go straight over the top like this. And the same on this side. And then I think I can do a very similar, at least, uh, roof style. Maybe every single one. Yeah. That one. That one. That one. That one. Slab. I've got this sort of black slab for the center. Like that. So weird seeing a, a wool texture but hearing a wood sound. <laughs> and there. What do we think? It's like, a, it's like a small version. I think that suits really well, don't you? Uh, maybe, maybe these should have an extra block there. And there, I need to add the clay that go or the uh, slab that goes all the way around the building now as well. These actually loop out and around, don't they? Oops, like that and like that. I want to see what this looks like on the map as well. Oops, yeah, I can see the fuel station in there. So cool to see all the road patterns and stuff like that as well. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and then for. Ooh, should have made this into this block as well. For the door. I don't know. I don't know where. I should probably have it on one of these sides, shouldn't I? Like that. Uh, door. We've got a bunch of different ones. I think maybe the glass one sort of works out quite well. This one does look really cool. But it opens in like a really weird way. Do we like that? Or do we not like that? It looks so cool, but does it does it work for what we want? You know what? I like it enough. I like it enough to have it. Okay, uh, so there's that building done on that side. And then we've got another building, a sort of more... It's a T-shaped uh, building. Again, uh, with a similar style. But this was going to be a little bit more trickier to do because it's still miniature. Uh, it's sort of a, a useless building as far as an interior goes because we've got so much depth uh, on the building. Um, but it's, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get all of the sort of ins and out parts because we've got so many sort of different sides and different angles to it. Uh, it wasn't so bad, bad doing it on the main building uh, because of the size. We had enough room uh, to be able to edit and change 
uh, parts, if there was a corner in the way and stuff like that. The smaller you go in Minecraft, the smaller scale that you go, uh, the harder it is to, to actually build uh, and get the detail uh, that you want in. So I think on the sides, anything that goes in this direction is just going to be clay. So all of the angles in this direction are clay. And then anything that goes in the sort of horizontal direction, we have as the cyan clay instead. And then we get that nice sort of recess that we want. Like that. Ooh, and one more. Around here. And I think that's going to work out quite well, right? If we go up... Uh, I think we do need to go up three blocks. Like that. And then the slabs go on this top level. And then the windows go above. Now, the windows are going to be tricky. Because we didn't plan out, uh, like, exact widths. Um, so we, we, we didn't work out, like, if we have, like, a three-wide window on this part, uh, we're going to need to block extra on this side and block extra on that side, stuff like that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make the windows to suit the walls. Instead, I don't want to change the lengths of the walls or anything like that. We're just going to make the windows oops, actually suit suit the walls instead. It's a little bit of a backwards way of doing it, but it's going to work just as well. So we have this coming out here. And on this side. Might as well put those in now and then I don't forget. Okay, so we definitely need clay two blocks high on either side of where it starts and ends. There, there, and there. Now, in the middle, we'll fit where whatever window will go, we'll do. Now, it's quite fortunate that our windows are 3 by 2 high for the glass. So that's like a perfect window that goes in there. On this side, on the on this sort of front longest side, we've got that. So I think I can go like maybe red there, red there, and grey there. And we'll do the windows like that instead. Or have red here, put the clay there and there. And then put a red one on the side instead. I think that looks a little bit neater. On this side, we can't really do much. I could leave it. Oh, I could put a w one window in there. Like that. Yeah, I think we will. I was thinking about my... I, I was going to leave it blank. But I think that looks a little bit better. And on this side, we'll do there. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. And then it doesn't quite line up in the middle. What if I move this over by one? Oops. And this one over by one. I get three blocks in the middle. That works out really well as well. So we'll have those ones. Red, red, red. Okay, so the spacing, the spacing actually worked out uh, pretty well. Uh, it couldn't have gone badly, to be honest, though. Uh, because if it goes badly, then you just do it in a different way. Set clay. So uh, there's no way to sort of do it wrong, uh, in, in a way. We'll have that one and that one. Get these walls all the right height. Then we'll put the windows in. And then we'll work on the roof. Uh, and sort of finish that part off. Up there. And I think, that, nope, that's it. Okay, uh, so looking far over in the distance there. We need one block of clay. To go over the tops of these windows. Oh yeah, I've forgotten the tops of most of the windows as well, haven't I? Like that. Does that... No, that is the right height. How is that one the right height? Uh-oh. That window's all on the right level. How come... Oh no, it's not. It is right. <laughs> hey, something looked wrong and I couldn't figure out what it was. But it's just that, I, that, that window had a slab at the top. And it's the only one that did... All right, slabs above here, finish off these windows, already got it on that one. I like having, at first I wasn't a fan of having the side walls, the clay wall parts, these ones, uh, blank. But the more we've sort of uh, done it, the more it's become a sort of an actual feature uh, of these buildings, and the more I've ended up liking it. That one, and that one. Ooh. 
and then we'll do a very similar sort of roof style uh, as we've done on the other ones. I actually think I might want more of these buildings as well. I don't know where. I don't know where we can fit them in. Uh, but I sort of feel like we want more of them. So this has to come around the edge. Uh, I'll worry about that in a minute. I just don't want to forget. Ooh. That like needs to come out here. Not on that level. Okay, I might add an extra block uh, in some places. I think I probably will. You'll know what I mean in a second. Let's just go around the perimeter here. Get this block on. Down this side. And then along the front. Now, you might see that the edges of our buildings... Uh, they, they, they sort of have this square inset. Which is okay, but see how on that one, it sort of is poking out a little bit further on these front sections. Now, I can do it over here, like this. And I can do it on the back sides, but the front side... i got hiccups again. The road is in the way, so I think the easiest way to solve this is just to move the building back by one block. I've got the room at the back to do it, so I might as well do it now. Cut. Paste. I don't need to worry about the, the wood uh, in the ground too much. We shall fix that when we uh, do the interior. Oh, we're probably not going to do an interior, are we? To be fair. And have this along here. Now I can get... Oh, and here. Now we can add the extra clay at that front. So the uh, slabs have something to wrap around then. You know, we have this sort of wrap around feature that we like. Okay, and then just a couple on the back here. I really like the uh, colours used in these buildings. They're, they're not dull looking, but they don't you have bright colours. They've uh, got this very industrial uh, feel, which is perfect for us. Now, I want to have... Um, we definitely need it on this side. Like that. And like this. But then how do we do it down these? Do I add? I think I do. I think I add that and that. Let's just have a look at the building over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cla uh, slabs. Wrap these all around now. Oh, wow. Is that the time? <laughs> <laughs> when you get into these, the, the building mode and everything's going well and you're having no problems, time goes so fast. There we go. And there we go. Uh, for a door, I know we haven't got the roof on yet, but for a door, I think we'll use the same doors as we used in that other place. Oh, I'll put it over here. Like that. And then we had oops, clay on top just to sort of hide up the tops of the door like that. I think it looks really neat. And I'll put a single door on this side. Like that. Love the sound effect. Okay. Uh, anything else? No, I think, I'm, I think we're pretty good. So now on to the roof. Uh, we definitely want the clay to come over here. There's uh, three very important ones. This one. Four very important ones. That one. This one, and this one. They're the four, like, super, super important ones. And then anything else, we can just sort of place in where it goes, really. I think maybe if we... Would that look good from the front? That looks very thick, doesn't it? Uh, I'll add a block here. And what have we got on this side? That one and that one. That works. So I have that one and this one. And then in the middle, maybe every two. Can I do every two? Oh, it worked out perfectly. Oh, that's just so, so much luck involved with my build sometimes. <laughs> I don't plan that right from the start. And yet always, always, whatever we want to do always fits. Most of the time, at least. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. Because it's a smaller building, we're not using full blocks. We're using slabs. Uh, instead, on the main building, we used full blocks. 
of a similar sort of texture to go in the middle here. Uh, but like what we did on that small building, we're using slabs instead uh, because we need to sort of use everything in a smaller scale. So I have that one. Oops. This one. These are a little bit. Ooh, these are a little bit more trickier to try and fit in. And the great thing about doing a roof like this is you don't need to worry about like the air conditioning units to go on top because the roof has already got enough detail. It already looks like a really nice roof. It's not plain and just boring and flat uh, with no sort of effort put into it. We've actually got like a little bit of thought, a little bit of design. Still keeping this sort of factory industrial style roof as well. Well, in my head, I don't know what you guys think, but in my head, uh, when I look at the roof, my, my initial design was sort of like corrugated... Uh, steel or corrugated iron, you know how it goes up and down That's the sort of thing that I wanted and I think I think it's pulled off quite well And then we'll have you know, what? I'm gonna take that away and I'm gonna put it Here instead and in that way it keeps everything We've got like uh, one wide Ugh. Let me back off before I explain on the thinner parts. We've got the black sections one block wide so on the left and on the right, but then in the middle they're two blocks wide. And I think that looks really, really neat, don't you? I think that looks really, really neat. Yeah, look at that. We've got some height. We're getting some height on the buildings now. That's all i got time for this episode, though, guys. Look at this place. If you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode.